in this class we are going to see about the uh, Wigner Eckhart theorem this is a introductory level lecture uh, kindly subscribe my channel youtube.com slash at wasu uh, before going to the detail uh, first we will see irreducible tensor operator in quantum mechanics and irreducible tensor operator is a specific type of tensor operator that has a that has a particularly simple transformation behavior under rotation irreducible tensor operators are defined in terms of irreducible representation of the rotation group such as uh, three dimensional rotation group uh, so3 we have already seen in, uh, in my previous lecture about uh, special orthogonal matrix so uh, in that i have explained in detail about the so3 matrix uh, this comes under the group uh, theory uh, the key characteristic of irreducible tensor operator is that it remains unchanged under rotation in other words if you apply a rotation to the state vector on which irreducible tensor operators acts the resulting transformed state vector is proportional to the original state vector the rotational properties of uh, spherical harmonic that is why l m uh, the uh, radial part of the wave function which depends sorry angular part of the wave function which purely depends on only theta and pi with l equal to 0 1 and 2 respectively they are the example of uh, irreducible tensor operators so uh, so called because they uh, they have a simplest transformation property uh, because comparing the cartesian coordinate you know we have already seen the advantage of having the uh, spherical coordinate system in order to re relate this to the spherical harmony that is ylm uh, which is a function of theta and pi we operate with j z on ylm uh, which is a function of uh, theta and pi with an arbitrary uh, function f uh, which is a function of theta and pi uh, so if j z act on this uh, ylm and f uh, you can have since uh, you remember uh, you want uh, you keep it in your mind that uh, uh, basic definition of uh, j z is is uh, basically a differential operator so if you differentiate this y and f uh, how it will come first you differentiate uh, with, uh, y alone and you keep f as it is then next you differentiate uh, f uh, you keep the y as it is then we will see what will happen now uh, take the right hand side when uh, jz act on ylm you will get the uh, eigen value mh cross that we have seen uh, when we are dealing with the angular momentum operator so the eigen value is mh cross then ylm uh, f will come as it is uh, next uh, ylm we are keeping as it is uh, then j z act on uh, the arbitrary function f now you bring the second term to the left hand side so this will come like this uh, here one uh, f uh, theta phi is there here also one f, f theta phi you take f, ta, f theta phi outside so here you will get uh, z y l m and here you have y l m z so this is uh, nothing but this left hand side is nothing but the commutation relation between j z and y l m and uh, both side you have uh, the function f so it can be cancelled so here you can cancel this 
so uh, the commutation between z z and ylm uh, is equal to mh cross ylm uh, since f is an arbitrary function as i said already uh, so we have seen the commutation between JZ and YLM is equal to MH cross YLM. In similar way, we can prove the commutation between uh, J plus or minus uh, that is uh, rising and lowering operator, ladder operator. Uh, commit with YLM, you will get the clips card and coefficient that is H uh, cross uh, square root of uh, j minus r plus m minus j plus r minus m plus 1. Here if it is plus, the uh, first term will become minus and here it will become uh, plus. If it is j minus uh, lowering operator, then h uh, here you will get j uh, plus uh, minus of uh, j here you will get minus. So this is the a well-known clips card and coefficient. In analogy, we now define irreducible tensor Tk, where K uh, represents the rank of the matrix. Uh, that is K equal to 0 of uh, uh, 1, 3 by 2, it is 4. Uh, so to be a, a set up 2K plus 1 operator, we have seen this is already when L equal to 1, uh, how many M you will, you will have? 2L plus 1. Or if uh, J equal to 1, uh, how many uh, M you will have? That is a magnetic momentum operator. Then it will be uh, 2K uh, plus 1. Whether it is L or J, the, that remains constant. That is 2J plus 1 operator. It is J, if it is L, you will have two L plus one operators. Here it is K. So uh, T is a function of K and Q. K is the rank of the matrix uh, tensor, rank of the tensor. Q is the component. Where Q is equal to K, K minus one, and it will go up to minus K. That is, it simply uh, runs from K to minus K that uh, have commutator with J set uh, similar to those in uh, clips card and coefficient where L or J is replaced by K. Here L or J is replaced by K and M is re replaced by Q. So the commutation between J, Z, T, K, Q is equal to uh, M, H cross, uh, T, K, uh, Q like what we have seen. Just we have replaced YLM by uh, TKQ. Uh, here K is the rank rank of the matrix. Q uh, is the component. So we have replaced uh, L by K and M by Q. So we will get like this. Similarly, the commutation between J plus or minus uh, and TKQ is this one, exactly. Just I have replaced J by K and M by Q. Now we will see uh, wigner uh, eckhart theorem. This uh, theorem states that the matrix element uh, pra J prime M prime uh, T K Q get uh, JM of any component of uh, tensor operators decomposes into two factors. One is the Klein card and coefficient uh, J pra JK MQ uh, multiplied with uh, get J prime M prime, which is quite independent of uh, physical nature of uh, tensor. It depends on the total angular momentum and magnetic and angular momentum and the other uh, product that is uh, j prime uh, see here you have double line uh, tk uh, j this double line indicates the 
reduced ma matrix element. This is the reduced matrix element, which has no dependence at all on magnetic numbers M and M prime. So, uh, in simple, uh, in formula form, we can represent the Wigner uh, Ecot uh, theorem as follow. That is the product of uh, pra J prime uh, M prime. Um, T K Q uh, get J M, which is equal to uh, bra J K uh, M Q multiplied with get J prime M prime and this one uh, J prime uh, T K J. This is uh, this uh, term inside. Uh, sorry, this term in uh, green color bond is uh, reduced to matrix element. And this red color bond one is the usual clips card on coefficient. The Wigner Eckhart theorem provides us with the fundamental insight because it separates geometric and symmetric related properties of matrix element from other physical properties that are contained in the reduced matrix element. See, as I said, the uh, we have uh, separated into two parts. One is uh, related to Clips card and coefficient, which is basically uh, related to symmetry. We have seen so many lectures about symmetry, uh, in which that angular uh, momentum operated in, involved intensity is closely associated to Clips card and coefficient. And here, one advantage is we have other physical properties. Uh, that are contained in the reduced matrix element. You may ask what is other physical property. See, in the case of angular momentum operator, we are considering only J and M. Uh, but what about the principal quantum number? Of course, in the previous one, that is angular momentum operator, we are considering L, article angular momentum L and M. If you take care of, uh, if you take and care of J, J is nothing but L plus S. S is the spin uh, uh, operator and L is the orbital angular momentum operator. M is a magnetic momentum operator. Uh, but uh, there is no way to accommodate the principal quantum number. Here, uh, other than angular part, uh, remaining part will be taken care of this reduced to matrix element. That is physical properties that are contained in the reduced magnetic, uh, reduced matrix element. Since uh, uh, this uh, Clips card and coefficient are readily available, the theorem also has great practical value because it's uh, just enough uh, you can calculate reduced uh, matrix element. Uh, so the reduced matrix element gives the physical property of the uh, system. So this is the uh, advantage of having uh, wigner eckhart theorem. Basically, we are going to uh, find the uh, application, uh, sorry, we are going to find uh, the property uh, by in including other uh, quantum number also, like uh, principal quantum number. Main application of the uh, wigner eckhart theorem is it is used to, to find the uh, allowed transition uh, by the way of finding the uh, selection rules uh, for electrical dipole transition, providing the insight to the, into the intensity and polarization of the spectral line. Uh, using that reduced to matrix element, you can find out the uh, transition uh, probability and uh, uh, allowed transition se uh, selection rule. Uh, so it has a lo lot of application. Uh, we can see those application in my future class. Thank you very much for uh, watching my videos and supporting me continuously. Uh, my YouTube channel ID is uh, youtube.com slash at Vasu V Physics. Kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.